we've got about um, solving or trying to solve the problems of dis, uh, digital inequality, um, I guess, using a few different ways. Um, the first thing is that using the sort of Microsoft Admin Center and using Microsoft Teams, we're able to see what device students are using to log in and also able to see when they're logging in or if they're logging in as well. So I guess the data that that's allowed us to look at has allowed us to say, right, th this is the, the, the spread of the problem that we've got. We were lucky enough to pick up some DFE laptops um, in sort of September time and, and quite a large number as well. Um, so that, that really helped us out. We then went through and, and looked at which students needed um, some sort of device as far as either what they had was not allowing them to access uh, the internet or that there just wasn't enough devices within that within the household and we then made a, a key list so that if we ever did go into a complete lockdown again or a, a point when students are not in school either in year groups then uh, we would know who those had to go to so during the sort of the in and out times and the hybrid times that we've had it was very simple to go to that list and say right year nine are out these seven kids need a laptop sent home today so that they can access over the next few days um obviously when we went into complete lockdown recently then we were able to expand that list and say right this is what we've got and this is what we're uh, this is what we're able to distribute um one of our department one of our sorry uh, slt very cleverly used some of the catch-up funding to buy devices um, because we saw that even even having the catch up funding in sort of like tutors would still cause that divide to happen in the future as well. So we managed to amass a reasonable number of laptops. I, I'm sure there's other schools that have far more than we did, but I reckon we've managed to get to around 100 devices through the DFE laptop scheme and through through what we purchased in school and then also been able to loan out um, devices that we have in school. Most of our devices in school are desktop based, um, whereas we do have some laptop ones that we've been able to, to give out to either staff or to students who've needed it. Um, so that, was, I guess, was the first step. Um, we then also managed to get some of the, um, the internet dongles that were given out by the DFE. And again, where we knew the internet was like availability was an issue, we've, we've shared them out to the students. Uh, what we've typically found is that the actual access to the internet isn't always a deprivation problem. Uh, we live in sort of a, or work in a sort of often quite rural area as well. So often it was more some of the students on the farms and, and outside area struggled sometimes with the internet. Um, so the dongles in some ways have helped them. We also managed to pick up some, um, I think they were Vodafone specific SIM cards that we were able to distribute to students who had um, phones that were either unlocked or were on that network in order to allow some um, sort of unlimited data for certain periods of time as well. So, so that really helped. And then I guess the final step is the the one that I think people picked up on, and it seems to go live on Twitter over the last um, few sort of weeks was the uh, the PlayStations and the um, and the Xboxes, how you can sort of plug USB um, keyboards into them, and then they are you can access Microsoft Teams, um, maybe not as well as you would on a laptop, but it's it's the sort of the final stretch. So that's been our our process is to give out where possible devices either on long-term loans due to the ones that we've purchased or on sort of short-term loans uh, through the DFE type ones and then basically just to work our way through saying you need one of them you need one of them there's three people in your household so you need we can afford to give you two there and that's how we try to hopefully solve the digital um, inequality as far as devices goes that's obviously followed up then with a support package where um, our learning progress managers and our pastoral teams are working really, really hard to uh, engage students who have found it more difficult to uh, to be online or to uh, access online stuff. Um, yeah, and I guess that's that's the success that we're having at the moment. We've got really high um, participation in an average. We're a school of around about 900, 900 and something students, um, and there's a, a good 800 and something students at least logged on each day and, and following our program. So it's it seems to be working.